This was the song which brought Jerry Rafferty worldwide fame. Baker Street notched up more than five million plays. But today it was another street in his hometown of Paisley where friends and family gathered for his funeral. Musicians he'd worked with, politicians, even the First Minister. Inside they heard about the father and grandfather, Gerald to family, who loved music but hated the fame it brought him. And he always searched for a more authentic way to live his life, shunning the outward trappings of fame and celebrity so that he might live the way that he chose to live. His friend, the artist and writer John Byrne, recalled growing up with him in Paisley, sustaining his musical career with a string of day jobs, from the civil service and the shipyards to his first job as a butcher's boy. Uh, he got his jobs, thankfully. <laughs> he might have been a, uh, a butcher. No, nah, no, of course he wouldn't be. It was just... Uh, he was just the greatest songwriter we've ever produced by a long, long way. Then it was left to his family, including his daughter Martha, to mark his passing with their own tribute, an a cappella version of one of his much-loved songs. Outside, many more listened to the service on loudspeakers. Some local fans, one who travelled all the way from New York. So I needed to be here for this. It was just important for me to pay my condolences to somebody that I really never met but always loved his music. I think he's the best songwriter ever and he's way underrated and he deserves something like this and hopefully he'll get more popular. In the States he's a popular but nothing like here I could see. This is his hometown. And then a last round of applause as Paisley said goodbye to one of its most famous sons. Polly McLean reporting Scotland.